So how do Sony's two newest flagships compare? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Sony Xperia Z versus the Sony Xperia ZL. Sony announced both the Xperia Z and the Xperia ZL at CES in January. Both feature a closely matched set of specifications that put them among the top contenders in the mobile market. And both are built on the same principle, experience the best of Sony in a smartphone. The most notable differences between the Xperia Z and the ZL are in their design. Xperia Z is a taller, narrower device sandwiched between two slabs of scratch-resistant glass. Its design is much more industrial and machined. Its edges are hard and corners are sharp. Xperia ZL is shorter and more compact, yet thicker. It also features a more ergonomic design. The power button is still in the middle of the right edge, but the volume rocker is at the top, a much more convenient location for one-handed use. It also sports a physical shutter button, while its next of kin does not. The faces of the two devices look quite similar, but under close inspection, there are some minor differences. The Xperia Z features a tiny LED notification light in the top left corner. The Xperia ZL, on the other hand, has its notification LED at the bottom of the face. The front-facing camera on the Xperia Z is also at the top, in the upper left corner, while the Xperia ZL's front-facing shooter is on the bottom right corner. Where the ZL truly differs from the Z is in its industry-leading screen-to-bezel ratio. There's very little wasted space on the face of the device. Around back, the Xperia ZL features a door where you can access the micro SD card slot, micro SIM tray, and a hard reset button. Unlike on the Z, the camera module on the ZL is raised, and the loudspeaker is found to the right of the camera. On the Z, the speaker is found on the right edge at the bottom, and it's easily covered up. That's not a good thing. Although the two devices are very similar, they feel quite different. Despite the fact that the plastic doesn't feel as substantial as the glass panel on the back of the Z, the Xperia ZL fits more nicely in the hand. The slightly curved back and soft touch finish on the Xperia ZL lends a better grip to the user and gives the illusion that the phone is smaller than it truly is, making the 5 inch display feel more manageable. The Xperia ZL, on the other hand, has a completely flat back. These hard edges make it feel larger than it actually is. The biggest difference, in terms of hardware, is water and dust proofing. The Xperia Z comes with an IP55 and IP57 dust and waterproofing ratings, meaning it can withstand some abuse from the elements. It's watertight for up to 30 minutes at roughly a depth of 1 meter. There is a caveat though. All the ports are covered with watertight seals. The Xperia ZL, on the other hand, is not waterproof, so it's best to try to keep that one dry. Under the hood, differences are few and far between. They both sport the same 5-inch 1080p TFT reality display with Mobile Bravia Engine 2. They both have a 1.5GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of built-in storage. They also both feature the same 13MP camera, shipped with Android 4.1 beneath Sony's proprietary interface and the usual list of connectivity, NFC, Bluetooth 4.0, and Wi-Fi BGN. The Xperia Z is listed as supporting only up to 32GB of expandable storage, while the ZL is listed as supporting up to 64GB. Both equip HSPA Plus and LTE connectivity, but support for specific bands varies by market and model. The ZL also gains an IR blaster, so the phone can be used as a universal remote for your home entertainment systems. And lastly, the battery capacities are ever so slightly different. The Xperia Z has a 2330 mAh battery, while the Xperia ZL carries a capacity of 2370 mAh. When it comes to software, both the Xperia Z and ZL come equipped with Android 4.1 out of the box, and both are expected to receive updates to 4.2 in the not too distant future. The software on both devices is virtually identical. They come with the same applications pre-installed, all the same wallpapers, icons, and themes. But only after casually cruising through the settings application did we notice one small difference. The white balance calibration tool is present under the display settings on the Xperia ZL, while it's entirely absent on the Xperia Z. Out of the box, the Xperia ZL's display was noticeably more warm than the Z's display. Considering they both use the same panel, it's safe to assume they are calibrated differently, so that calibration utility could definitely prove useful. All in all, the designs of both the Xperia Z and Xperia ZL are fantastic. Though they have nearly identical spec sheets and look and feel differently, they offer a similar experience and portray the same message. Sony is not messing around. Both are possibly the best work we've ever seen from Sony from a manufacturing standpoint, and this appears to be what could be the turning of a new leaf for Sony and mobile.
So that's all for our comparison of the Xperia Z and the Xperia Z L. Be sure to like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for future content. I'm Taylor Martin and I will see you next time.